<clears throat> I still don't know. Uh, you know, for those are uh, watching, listening, uh, I don't know what year uh, the award show was with Christina Applegate. I, I she I felt like she was she was just embarrassed by uh Lamar though people said oh she wasn't there yeah well you know she kind of saw it from a screen because uh Luke is there my so called cousin you know uh he uh he de he said can I go uh he was presenting an award it was just him reading from cue cards and he said can I go after Bill Maher and Bill Maher had a monologue and yeah I think Lucas knew what was gonna happen it was gonna be kind of bad like. Uh, you know, uh, Bill Maher was gonna, you know, offend uh, somebody. I think he knew Christina Applegate. He was gonna offend Christina Applegate, you know. And I mean, like, you know, uh, the first, the, the third time I uh, repressed it from my mind, you know, it was a couple years ago. I played over and over in my mind, and I didn't see it, like people say. It was like, you know, a memory I never had, and it was word for word, uh, Bill Maher's monologue, and then Lucas's, uh, or Luke, uh, uh, like people know him. Uh, you know his uh, his, uh, his, his his you know his presentation came later, but he he said about Bill Maher, and it was some of the lines like you know uh, uh you know Bill Maher misspoke like uh he said uh, I won't go any farther, and then Lucas said you know I, I don't you mean further because the further farther is a relation to distance something like that I don't know if a word for her now it, it's you know it's it's not that it haunts it's just you know it's kind of uh, it's freaking annoying when you're like you don't know, remember stuff and like you should probably like i don't remember stuff word for word from my life like, oh, his life so it's fucking annoying although we're like the same kind of the same person you know but yeah and people said there was a standing ovation people stood up but it wasn't like everybody and it's fine it I, i'm not gonna say it's like a hero moment lucas did you know uh, christian uh, applegate later i don't know it was like 99 i'm pretty sure it was her and uh, uh there's some people which I'm pretty sure was in school. Maybe I shouldn't go for an attention, but it was, you know, uh, it was someone said, "Oh, it was a hero," and I said, "Was well, a shero if it's a female?" And then like she said that once again and stuff like that. So that's why I started putting things together. Although, although I, you know, it, it was about '99. Then you know, I, I kind of understood why she she like uh, held on to that with uh, uh, one of the Baldwin brothers there on the CNN in like what 2008 or something like that. You know, I really fuck with my mind. I really fuck with my mind, but you know, I, I just couldn't fucking believe it. I couldn't fucking believe it. But yeah, I'm not gonna talk about that. It's just like, yeah, Lucas can, you know, uh, Luke, he actually saw what was gonna happen beforehand. Except, you know, he was nervous. Except when that happened, he's like, oh fuck, I can't believe this is happening. Like this is just, you know, it's just like, it's not that common goal. It's like I gotta fucking, you know, say something like that. And he just, you know, he just said whatever he felt like, and it was a, it was kind of like, you know, it, it just like, you know, he was like. Uh, you know, I never went to like a, a school. In, uh, I only went to college in this country. I wasn't born here, and I, I know the difference between that. Maybe it was a cheap because uh, Bill Maher was a he went to an Ivy League school, Cornell actually. You know, so uh, yeah, it's, uh, sometime after repressed, I started thinking like, did Lucas instigate him saying that between farther and further? You know, like he it pur purposely made me mess up. It just that like, he was listening to word for word, he just waiting on his cues. You know, but. That was, you know, my, my, my main thing is, you know, I have a lot of anger. Really fucking a lot of anger. Uh, I, you wouldn't fucking believe. You know, uh, but the thing was, like, he shouldn't have been Jersey City, Luke. You know? And the reason, like, we're, we're the same individual. In the late 90s, we used to go to Jersey City. And we used to watch, uh, uh, not not too many times, only a couple times. But, yeah, we used to, you know, uh, smoke weed. Some people say loaded. I <laughs> have, like, a load of fucking rage and anger. But, you know, we, it wasn't too much weed, like, you know, we just a couple guys, and we just, like, we would go on the pier, and we would smoke, we smoke some weed, we smoked smoke blunts back then, and we just watched the, you know, uh, the skies of Manhattan, and a lot of times we would turn, these guys wouldn't even watch, but it was just like, you know, we were mesmerized, it was a night. So, uh, I thought, like, you know, if I ever get money, I'm, uh, I'm gonna live in Jersey City, you know, but <laughs> it was nowhere but the pier, he, I, I think, you know, I know he, uh, I was there once. Not by accident. Some people purposely wanted me to see, you know, the building. They were just, you know, they had it had asbestos or something like that. Maybe not asbestos, but we were cleaning it up. We were scraping the walls and stuff like that. I think it was like on the third or fourth floor. I was there a couple of weeks ago, and I think it was the same place. It's very well rebuilt. Except the building looks, I mean, it looks much, much better. I don't know. Maybe it is, but... uh yeah, I, I, you know, he should have just traveled the world. He in 85, 86, you know, and whatever, in the late 80s when he won the lottery, $20 million, he just left the States. Now, like, you know, it's like, yeah, 
it, it's not that he, he didn't like this place, this thing, I think just a lot of people didn't like him. He, he had $20 million. Like, he, like I, I would have went to Africa, Eastern Africa. And, like, you know, I would have invested so much in not just infrastructure, businesses, uh, grow, grow uh, healthy foods, vegetables, you know, and, you know, just go from uh, like, uh, country to country. Or, like, you know, invest. And, you know, I, I don't, we wouldn't, he wouldn't want money, like, maybe get some money back, but eventually, like, just promote be better, better living. He wouldn't want, I don't think he wanted political status, nonetheless. I mean, I don't know, maybe, maybe I would have felt, but maybe I would have done that. You know, but just, just to, uh, just someplace when you're necessary. Someplace where you need it. You know, even if it was in the 90s with a billion dollars, a couple of billion dollars, he wouldn't do anything with it. Not here. So, I don't know, he was just, he was hung up, like I was hung up on this dream, just being near the city, I don't know, being close to New York, just living a life, like, you know. Well, uh, being somebody, I, you know, yeah, no chance here, and you know, maybe not nowhere in Western Hemisphere either. I don't know, especially not United, not United States of America. So, uh, yeah, I just I, I think keep thinking about that, and uh, you know, I keep thinking about a lot of stuff. Like you know, we only had like you know, I'd say a, a decade and a year, eleven, twelve years, we had the money. I mean, it's meaningless, but, you know, before that, it's like, well, what else can you do with your life? You know, maybe he should have went to college, but he, he remembers my college career, how, like, you know, I had people stalked, him to, stalked us to fucking college, and he's like, well, am I going to get this going to happen again? I just, you know, can't believe why he didn't fucking leave. You know, he should have just, you know, he took the, uh, 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 you know, just bought a plane ticket, just freaking went, even to Europe. To Europe and just you know I don't know somewhere somewhere on the coast. I would have went to like Spain, south south of Spain. I would have went to uh, Morocco, uh, Algeria. You know, I would have went there. I, I would have been there. You know, and he could have tried. He could have went all oh, sub-Saharan sub Africa. I just can't believe it. But yeah, there's a lot of people that just you know that uh, I don't think they want progress, and they use this line "progress," uh, you know, come slow. Well, you know, I mean, if you don't want it, what do you think? It's gonna fucking happen overnight or two weeks, a month, a year. But you know, my anger still lasts for my life, and a lot of times from his. It really does. Yeah, the, the whole Christina Applegate thing, you know, uh, it, I later, you know, learned as I repressed that because uh, Luke over there learned that it was a, a sexual thing. That Christina got, Applegate pretty much didn't want anything to do with Bill Maher. But he was like very sexual, something like that, and you know, she just rejected him, so he got angry. So Bill Maher did his monologue. He said, "Oh, Christina Applegate, you know, she she was in a uh, what show was it? Married with Children. She played up." Uh, you know, not intelligent person, a ditz, we call it, an airhead, you know, she was a, she was too smart, and then Lucas pointed out, you know, it's, uh, it's acting, you know, you, uh, you get paid to, to, to pretend, you know, someone you're not, I don't know how far he went with that one, you know, or fur, I don't know who was uh, in the stand, but actually, you know, he, they, he talked to Luke and stuff like that. I don't know who he was, but he was somewhat of a educated individual, I believe. You know, I, I don't remember who. And I remember Preston, it was like, you know, this and the other thing. Also, Luke, he was invited to like uh, another, some kind of, not a war show, but it was like a celebration. And I remember uh, uh, Patrick Swayze was there. It was, it was sometime later. And they just, you know, asked them, like, look, look at the right stuff with satire, stuff like that, or presentations. And, like, you know, he just, uh, I mean, it's a thing, it's a certain thing we had. Like, you know, we made, uh, you know, uh, the Karate Kid to be like, to, like the villain, but it's really a joke. 
It's really not true, you know. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just a play, like, you know, reality. You know, they, they violate too, but they with reason. I don't think Patrick Swayze really liked it or something like that. Or well, actually, maybe he just, you know, took it like whatever, and I guess uh, Ralph Macho got offended. I don't remember. I don't remember anymore. But that was like, you know, not his, not his best days, I believe. And then it was like a, a commencement speech too. But it's like, I, I, I'm not going to into that. Just, you know, that stinks from his life. It's like, you know, he shouldn't even dwell in that. He shouldn't, he shouldn't even dabbled in that. Like, I, I wouldn't do any of that. I, I learned it the hard way. But uh, as far as from, you know, uh, uh, Bill Maher's monologue, yeah, he, w he was saying like that. And then, you know, uh, oh, I think Luke had pointed out his movie, too. Because Bill Maher had a movie in the 80s. And it was, you know, and something else that happened, you know, after that, like Bill Maher. Uh, well, Bill Maher didn't, uh, first of all, he didn't call Luke uh, on his cell. He looked look at his cell phone. He didn't call him. He had a producer from uh, his uh, ABC show. Uh, you know, it was uh, politically incorrect. Call Luke and it's like, oh, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna invite you to the show. It's gonna be, you know, over air, but you know, you don't have to come in. And it's like we're gonna record your stuff like that. So you know, the producers actually called uh, Luke and he made a joke, this and that about you know his movie. But I was like, oh, you know, I wasn't. It wasn't great movie. It was like, yeah, it's like you know, it was a classic. I still have it in my, you know, I still have it wrapped up. as it's you know, holding on at my coffee table. You know, it was like as <laughs> I saw the Bill Maher movie, it was like you know. Uh, a cheap rated porn <laughs> without the sex, you know, but it, it was, you know, I think he made a joke, even when anyway, he was standing there before he read, like, you know, uh, I mean, you, you ever thought about acting, <laughs> something like that, yeah, I think, you know, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I, uh, you know, it, it was just, you know, I, I mean, uh, I could probably get in with anybody, like, right now. You know, you call me, talk to you, go on video chat, you know. Uh, I mean, it's just, you know, it, it, it's just logic. It, it's honesty. With, with little jokes and uh, maybe, you know, a little bit of temper and uh, frustration and anger. But, you know, Greg Giraldi, he, uh, he took a couple, a couple of, of lines from Luke, and I, I think they talked or something like that. You know, I like to think that they talk. Cause there was something psychological related when when Gerald overdosed. I was just heartbroken. I was hurt. And I'm not gonna say people say, "Oh, and then Andy Dick's still alive." It wasn't like that. Like, uh, I don't know. It could have been fucking, you know, uh, and, and like a lot of other people. You know, and it's like you know, it just fucking hit hard home. I don't know. You know, I, I'm a big fan of Arturo Guy. When Arturo Guy died, I was in that shit. I mean, I was I was shaking up on that that much. And actually, you know, I, I'm pretty sure I, I met Arturo Gotti once. I didn't know. I actually talked to him on the phone. I didn't know either. But I just, I, I don't know. It just so, uh, you know, it's like, a, if, uh, that's, I think maybe look at him talking stuff like that. I uh, just, you know, I'm not, I don't really fully saw that. Look, we used to hang out in the city and uh, he used to go to New York. So maybe he met people there. I just, you know, uh, there's another thing he did. I'm not going to his hero uh, spiel this or that thing, but he would like you know he I mean there's a lot of fucked up things that happen. A couple times you know he uh, he actually like per personally you know that he want to be a like you know a superhero, but if someone was getting hurt they didn't deserve it. He he was reading uh I don't know if it's like you know uh, they, they ugh, fuck I was just uh someone said that yesterday on video it is. It is when you expect, like, you know, you pro either you project your mind, and when he was just grasping, like, evil thoughts that might happen in the future. A lot of times he, just, he, he would walk and pretend there was nothing there. I think one of the people was uh, Ruben Reyes. And, uh, you know, I think Reyes uh, slashed his hand, but then Luke just started, he, he became like a transponder. You know, he just moved from one place to another. And he was, he was, he was into a lot, of, a lot of stuff like that. I'm really not. I'm actually creeped out by that, you know? A lot of stuff like it won't solve anything, but he realized, you know, well, I'm not gonna do anything. I can't do this. I have a business, you know. It's like, yeah, I make some money, but it's like I'm not doing anything. Well, let me just fucking, you know, not be Batman, but like fucking be somebody else for a better good. And uh, yeah, I think Ray has actually cut somebody. You know, I remember seeing it was a like dark, uh, you know, I think it was a one way street in Manhattan. I think he like stabbed somebody, and it was you know Ray is this guy like you know 
uh, I, don't, I think it was Reyes. I'm not sure. You shouldn't even follow him, but it's like, you know, Reyes was like uh, the, the guy. The people said that he was, you know, he was getting paid to, like, kill people. You know, he was like, a, you know, I don't know what you call that. He used to say that, but, you know, he was, you uh, know, this thing, he was just, you know, like a hitman or some shit. Maybe that's how I saw when I repressed it in my mind. Maybe it was somebody else. And then, you know, I think he had, uh, like, a severely cut hand. And it was hurting, but he also started doing something like, you know, alleviate the pain with his mind. But, yeah, like, I, I don't dwell on stuff like that, you know? That's not me, but it, it's, you know... Yeah, well, there, you know, for years I thought I was a fascist terrorist. Not that it was a gag, but the things they were saying, you know, and people just let me know that, like, that's me. It haunted me, man. Especially 9 11. Like, fuck, I'm not into that stuff. Like, I, I, that fucking that creeps me out. Yeah, as far as uh, George Bush, yeah, look, look, did meet him, but he already knew all that was gonna happen. He would watch like video footage. It happened to me, like you know, a song would play, and everybody else would hear static, or like static on TV. I don't know if it's like you know, it's a mental thing. You just you know, you connect to something, and you're, you're giving uh, authority. You know, the last time somebody else instigated that into me. I didn't watch. I didn't want to watch the football game. Uh, she went outside. I don't know if I, you know, I actually did the same twice or something. That's like, other freaky stuff. And then I saw it from from uh, from like a patio over here, on the steps in the kitchen, to the kitchen to the living room, and my eyes would swell up. You know, if you watch that, you're not supposed to see that. But all you see is static, but your eyes swell up. It's some freaky stuff. Something I don't want for myself. A lot, a lot of freaky disturbing stuff, you know, including, you know, the game of Brazil and Germany. Something wrong with that, you know, because uh, on that day, it was, I remember it was like a noon or something. Like, it was a hot summer day. And uh, uh, my aunt Donna over there, she just called me and she said like, oh, you, you know, you're going to buy some beer, buy some beer, porter. It's like, it's like over 7%. And I was like, eh, right now, it's disgusting. And I didn't know, remember, I bought like, uh, I bought like eight beers. And, you know, that day, Jeremy scored eight goals. So, they, what do you say, superstition, well, it's like, you know, she never calls me and tells me I have to get beer. And I was haunted that day, I was paranoid, freaking out. Like, my mind, I don't know what people are doing, just I felt like, you know, very disturbed. It's uh, it was very creepy. You know the, the assassination attempt with Donald Trump. It's that Simpsons episode when they had Donald Trump in, in a casket, and you know the time before he's on an escalator, someone has a sign to drop it. That happened in real life actually, except he didn't get assassinated. You know, someone let me know we we're, we we're discussing this in a different kind of form, and they're saying, "Oh, you probably saw that. You just don't remember." It was shocking. He got shocked. And he was walking around shot on the streets of, of whatever he was. Donald Trump. And, like, you know, I guess we reversed time, reversed the day. I just can't remember that. I just, you know, it, it's not in my memory bag. But, you know, when I saw that, uh, personally, when I saw that Simpsons episode, I, I was taking profanity from Trinidad's Medical Center, including, uh, I think I was a respiridone as well. And, I, uh, and back then, you know, I was talking to, I was just training Messi with this, this female Ashley from, uh, Long Island, and it, I just became shocked, like, you know, I just, it, like, it was just like, you know, a lot of stuff had started happening, actually, it wasn't actually it was some other, it was some other film from upstate New York, and it was like, you know, it, it, actually, or maybe it was actually, but it was like, it happened multiple times, like, you know, like, everything happens really fast, but slow at the same time, it's like a shock, my mind is shocked, and it's like, you know, the best thing I do is just lay down and go to sleep, or just close my eyes, eventually, like, hour, two hours goes away. 
And it's very disturbing. It's like, you know, you're not paranoid, but it's like, I, I don't know what to call it. And, you know, even right now, it's not, it's not fucking here. because Doc, one of Dr. Trinitas, you know, he, you know, he, you know, he knows the side effects. The side effects are all there. When I get really tired, it's like, I move my hand, it's like, it goes like, like I see, you know, like a, not a vibration, but like the layers on my hand, you know? Like, if they fuck my, my mind in some way. And I'm not taking it, I haven't drank, and, you know, I smoke tobacco. I'm exhausted. From exhaustion, it happens to me. When I wake up in the morning, I actually get that shit. It's not here, so you idiot, whoever you are. You, you can't lie anymore. Trust me, you can't. You can't. Yeah, then I actually, I was trying to have a conversation. I actually had a conversation with one person, but, you know, like, uh, how, uh, you know, how, uh, how violent is, uh, this country? How many uh, other countries had so many assassination attempts and assassinations that felt, uh, that went through? I mean, you know, there's dictators and they worried about being, you know, uh, uh, assassinated, but they don't even have that, you know, they don't have that, that rate of succession over there. I didn't think about the history of the United States of America. It's it just violence and bloodshed everywhere. Yeah, yeah, and a person was like, somebody, somebody made YouTube videos like, how come the Secret Service, you know, they had that one building and nobody, and people didn't, the Secret Service didn't even know that there was somebody up there. Like, they didn't even check it. And it's like, there's mil there are military people, right? And, you know, the people were yelling, and those people yelling, and then the cops just didn't realize, like, minutes went by, they didn't relay the message to the, the Secret Service. There wasn't a, you didn't have a drone over there? I mean, you have a drone in protest, right? You have all that technology, and you, you don't even use it for your own better good, your own person, your own people. I mean, you know, I'm not going to relate to how people use technology for whatever reasons. Much degenerate and nasty state, giving up people's address. Stalking people, finding out details about people that probably sh you shouldn't know, but you should know a detail. Like there's a fucking shooter standing, you know, uh, like 150, uh, 164 uh, feet, uh, uh, yards away, 150 meters away. And yeah, I read it online. It's like, that's you know uh, the 150 meters. That's a standard uh, uh, issue in the military in the U.S. Army. To get accepted, you have to you have to hit a target from 150 meters. Tell me those were military people. They don't know the the the, the, the diameter, or actually the the radius, right? 150 meters for Donald Trump. Well, who gave you fucking you know military clearance? Who signed you people up for military? I mean, well, you know, so, and also, you know, I saw, and I saw the, the video, some guy tried to call, oh, you're, you're, you're a monster for watching, or, like, you know, a foul person, or you're, like, you know, what people say, you're awful for watching that, well, the, the live version of the reaction of the crowd, and for my first lecture, wow, they didn't panic, they were, they were, they were crouching down, you know, they weren't just running over the place, they actually, you know, they're actually very, uh, uh, wise about going like that, but they spent like some time telling, hey, this guy's dead, you got shot in the head, kill me hell. And no one fucking came over there. No one fucking showed up. Till like a minute or two minutes later, a guy in a, in a black suit, he just walking, like he couldn't even get to the crowd and shit. Like he was like, a rage against the machine show looking for popcorn or corn or some shit. Fucking it. Then, you know, another thing, they dumped, jumped on Donald Trump. I guess I get it. Like maybe you know from the front, uh, there was uh, a lot more meters. But then I'd say there was a second shooter. But they had a short person over going like this. That's an open face shot right there. That's a that's a fucking kill shot right there. And you know Trump over there bleeding like you know fight fight. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I mean you know he went through a traumatic experience. Guy tried to take his life. I get it. that's you know. I mean I don't even think about that. You know it's like. 
uh, you know, it's like, uh, it's not a Batman movie, he's gonna finish his speech, right? Yeah, and to the person, you know, uh, it's not, it, it's kind of funny, but it's really not funny, like, yeah, I, I would have done that, I, I don't, I would have done that. I'm not, you know, I, I'm not a violent person, I don't believe in assassination, I don't believe in murder, you know, and also, it's like, uh, what was the other thing, you know, uh, Oh, watch the video game. They were fine. Like uh, you know, and you're like uh, you sound like that. <laughs> you get sad, man. What the fuck are you sad for, right? Get off my fucking mind. Leave my fucking mind and my thoughts alone. Just start doing that, all right? Don't worry about what the fuck I would have. Chances, actually, you know, in that chances you're fucking lying about me in my own fucking mind. Like, you're not gonna fucking lie about me and my character. You lie about my character on fucking, you know, uh, whatever TV shows. I mean, not that I, I get talked about TV shows, like, you really say my fucking name. You know, I don't fucking exist, right? You're gonna lie to me in my own fucking mind and my thoughts, man? Like, how fucking creepy are you, man? How ridiculous are you, people? Some of you, man. All of you. I mean, my character's been, uh, you know, uh, uh, slander, libel, defame all over the fucking, not just the internet world, who knows, who knows where else. And, you know, you know, you know, you know <laughs> in your municipal court, superior court, in your jury duty, and then you're gonna attempt to lie to me in my fucking mind. By the way, the example I gave was it from my standpoint? And don't claim stupidity if, as your defense. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, 80, what, 86? Reagan, it was an assassination attempt, but, I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna say, like, you know, I'm not gonna compare it to, like, you know, uh, a school shooting where elementary uh, kids get shot, it's shocking, nonetheless, but it's also, like, man, it's like, that's, you know, that's ex-president, he's also running for president, if he was an ex-president, he's running for president, like, you're gonna fucking, I mean, you're, you're, assa you're assassinate, and the guy was fucking 20 years old, like, Oh, man, you know, the mental health thing, that fucking, I probably got mental health based on my psychology, based on a lot of you fucking people. But that, that's not an excuse. And, you know, the first thing they talk about, his mental health, his mental health, like fucking, oh, people thought he was abuser, I mean, he was harassed and bullied in school. Every day they said the guy was said with a kind of a, sm a smirk over there. I mean, yeah, I was fucking harassed. I'm still getting fucking harassed. I'm not gonna fucking you know assassinate you though. Well, actually, not you, but like uh, you know, a, a leader of the country. And then you know it comes out with Joe Biden said let's put a, bull a bullseye on him, on Donald Trump. It's just like, I don't know, those are, those are weak words. I, I think people are grasping uh, for words. I really do. I mean, unless, you know, uh, it is true we have this uh, telepathic conversation. People call it clairvoyance. Who knows if uh, that uh, shooter contacted Joe Biden days, well, maybe hours before, maybe weeks before. Maybe they talked off it. And Joe just had to say something, you know, so uh, it will be on television. Television on YouTube, so the guy fucking, you know, realized, oh, well, that's a go or something like that. Because, you know, I'm pretty sure they never uh, texted, traded messages, talked to each other. Or anyone from a staff. I mean, I don't know. Because, you know, a lot of people interact with my fucking mind. 
and then how freaky it is, you know, you see, they see them saying something like, oh, that's, you know, we're just, I mean, I, I heard your, your, your voice and my thoughts, you are trying to chew my thoughts, and this is what you're saying, so this is what it is. Now, it's not from my personal standpoint, you know, I, I don't, I don't fault to that. It's like I, I hear Bill Maher saying, you know, it's a war on logic. After like two weeks, I fucking made YouTube about that. And I'm like, you know, hey, fuck you, Bill. I mean, I said fuck you, Bill, but it's like, that's it. I mean, this is like, this is much more serious, isn't it? It's a fucking reality. And it's not a reality TV show. Even those could be scripted. This is a real fucking thing. But, you know, my logic, based on, uh, uh, you know, integrity and truth, it declares me as a schizophrenic, right? But, uh, by the way, uh, not by the way, none of your doctors, anyone could prove I'm delusional. As soon as they prove it, they, they, they became fucking, you know, uh, not just frankly goofy and kind of delusional themselves. Hey, you know, leave me the fuck alone with the phrase, sue the law, or sue the state. Leave me the fuck alone. None of you fucking lawyers want to touch me and shit. Why don't you contact that fucking last lawyer I talked to and shit, who you people sue the law, and fucking haunt his fucking mind. Leave me the fuck alone. And the rest of you said, I didn't know, listen, I don't want to fucking hear your thoughts you didn't know, you idiot. You're mentally fucking stressing the fuck out of me. Don't tell me you didn't know that either, right, princess? You ridiculous fucking haunt things. Motherfucker got Donald Trump shot. Do you think about that Princess Bride like they call you? What did that fucking shooter just, you know, haunted Biden, Biden haunted him? I don't have proof, but yeah, two years ago, Biden fucking haunted my mind. They said, you deserve to die. And the next day was Barack Obama. I just had a thought of Barack Obama. He said, uh, no, 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 let's be, let me calm about this. Because we will really trade messages. It's whoever you want, you let it in your mind. And she's like, I want to let you in my mind. Like uh, a shooter that was uh, over a year ago or so. This guy said he heard he hear voices. I mean, it was uh, like Massachusetts. It was, it was northern, uh, northern states. When you start shooting people, it's not just your voices, you're schizophrenic, you know, uh, you're paranoid, you're delusional, your mind's breaking down. It's all you fucking is fucking with people. And then, you know, like, no one, no, 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 And then you, you morons come it's not a game. Idiot, you fucking retarded. Your mental fucking retard I means you're slow as fuck, idiot. And you, you way out of fucking context. I'm not fucking playing with you idiots. I never fucking was. Jokes and lols. Morons. Stupidest of the stupidest always get through.